Hi, so this is our knit crate yarn, our February knit crate yarn, and it's sardine wools, and it's the theme is calm, and this color is just beautiful, it's called calm, and it's 80% wool, 10% silk, 10% mohair, and it's a DK yarn, and I am using size 7 US needles, which is 4.5. So let's do this. I, we're going to be making a caplet. I was watching Outlander. I have been watching it, the series, and I, I got inspired. So what I have here is that I cast it on 88 stitches. And on the first row, I did knit, purl, knit, purl. And counting those four, I I did uh, 14 stitches and placed a marker on the 15th. Then knitted 14th and placed a marker on the 15th. Knitted 28 and placed a marker on the next one. Knitted 14 and placed a marker on the 15th. And then knitted the last 14th. But the last four are pearl knit pearl knit now on the way back which is on the way back it is I knit pearl knit pearl knit and then you're going to pearl all the way through and the last five are going to be knit pearl knit pearl knit but don't worry we're going to be doing this again so it's going to be it's just that you want to signal the first ones because this is where you're going to be adding stitches okay so first add-on row and all the add-on rows are going to be the same so at the beginning you're going to knit knit and purl. So those are the first four. Now you're going to knit until you find your first marker. So you should have 14 here but only on this row because you're going to be adding on every row. So now I have my marker there and on the strand that connects this last one with the one with the marker you pick up that strand and you put it on your needle from, your needle goes from the front to the back of that strand. Now you're going to pick up that strand from the back and knit it. And now you knit the one from the marker. Now that strand that connects the, the one that with the marker with the next one, you put it on your needle and knit that stitch from the back. And now you knit until you find your other marker. Here we are. So there we are. So that's the one with the marker. Pick up that strand that connects the last one that you knitted with the one with the marker. Put it over your needle. Like from your needle goes from the front to the back of that stitch. And then you're going to pick up the back of that stitch and knit it. And then you knit the one with the marker and then pick up the strand 
put it over your needle and knit the back of that new stitch and then knit so this is the back of the caplet we have 28 stitches only this time because you're going to be adding and the color is perfect for a nice caplet I always get cold in my shoulders and my arms so we knit until we find the next stay this the next marker so we have 28 in the back that's the one with the marker okay so let me check this yeah okay so now we're going to pick up that strand put it over your needle knit the back of the strand knit the one with the marker pick up the strand put it over your needle knit the back of that new stitch and knit until you find your next marker Here we are, almost there, almost there. So let's see the one with the marker. Oops, maybe it's not as clear. Yeah, it's this one. So I need one more. Pick up that strand, put it on your needle. Knit that one from the back. Knit the one with the marker. Pick up the strand. Put it on your needle and knit that one from, from the back and then knit all the way to the end. But the last four we're going to do something different. because we want seat stitch it looks very pretty on the edges so last four I want to purl knit purl and knit okay the purl side you don't do in any adding you just pro the whole thing it's just at the beginning and at the end that it's a little bit different so knit purl knit purl and knit so those are the first five and now you are going to purl the whole row and I will see you at the end of this row. So the last five stitches right there I want to knit, purl, knit, purl, and knit. So I'm going to repeat the add-on row and the comeback row and I will come back to tell you how long I'm making it and that's it so I will see you when I get there. Many times it's very difficult to see the middle stitch so what you might want to do is place a marker on your needle on the space just before the middle stitch 
So this is how you're going to be working it. So you get two where your marker is, which is this stitch is the middle stitch. So you're going to make one there. Pass your marker. This will be the middle stitch. And then make one. So like that you don't have any trouble trying to figure out where the middle stitch is. You can take all these things off. So you go to the next one. This is the marker. And you make one there. Pass your marker. Knit the middle stitch. And make one right after. So what I have here is that I added a stitch on each side of the middle stitch and that's four times around and you do that for seven inches. After that you do, you add on each side of the middle stitch every other right side row until you have about 12 inches. You can make it longer if you have enough yarn so that would be nice. So at the end I'm going to make a few rows of seat stitch and of course if you have an extra one just knit two together so like that it ends the way it's supposed to and all at the end and I'll come back and tell you how many rows I did. I did four rows of the seat stitch and I feel it's already enough to bind off on the fifth. So knit one, purl one, and bind off. Knit one, bind off, purl one, bind off, knit one, and purl one, and do that all the way to the end. So follow the pattern that you're supposed to have. So the, that's a purl, so the next one is a knit. Bind off softly, you don't have to do it tightly so it's, uh, it folds nicely, it doesn't, see, so that's nice. I finished the bottom of the capelet. And now I want to pick up stitches for the neck. So with my number 7 needle and my yarn, I'm going to pick up, starting from, see that's the knot, and I am going to go just below that to pick up the first one. So there we go. Oops. Okay, so now I will pick up from the back of each of the top loops. So we go behind, pick up, behind. See there's the top loop there. So you take the strand that's in the back and you go and pick up all of them and I will come back when I finish doing that. So I picked up my stitches and this is the way it looks on the right side. 
with a little bit of those bumps not much but very nicely done and I have my 88 it doesn't matter if you have one or two less or one or two more it really doesn't matter so I'm going to do my seat stitch but I'm using a number 8 US needle which is a 5 millimeter because I want it very soft so purl knit and purl knit and purl remember when you come back you purl the knits and knit the purl so the ones that have the bump are purls so the next row you knit and that's how the seat stitch is done so knit and purl and I'll come back when I have a few rows done so I did 24 rows of uh, seat stitch and bind off on the 25th row but very very softly because you see this neck has to go around a larger part of the cape than the neck itself so right now I am blocking it I submerge it completely in a small tub wring it very very well very softly and then put it on a towel and roll it so like that it, the excess water comes off and now this is another towel and I'm leaving it there to dry flat so this is looking very pretty and I'll take some pictures of it and thank you very much for watching share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe thank you